Hello everyone, welcome to Malware Analysis Course. So before we start in that, make sure that you you, you run anything in your VM, not an original uh, Windows, for example, like that. I have my VM, okay, and uh, I'm just test anything on it because I don't, I just don't want to uh, get infected with the malware. Okay, I know right now I'm just doing basic static analysis, but I just need you to run anything on this VM. Okay, so let's start. So today we're gonna speak about uh, tools like uh, Resource Hacker. We're gonna speak about tools like P Studio. Okay, so let's start. For example, in the best, the best, the best good example for tool like Resource Hacker, as I told you, it just like uh, what's the What's what's purpose of resource hacker? There is malware, okay, or some type of malware contains resources, okay. So just extract these resources or even uh, decompress this resource or whatever it will do for this resource. It's gonna be used during the malware, okay, during the execution execution of malware. So let's start. We just open tool called resource hacker and this malware, okay, just put it in resource hacker. It will load you all resources that contain that, that, that this file contain. For example, this resource version info main finish. Okay, so uh, we just see. Okay, just open this resource. Okay, it seems that uh, this resource is a huge resource. Okay, okay. Uh, just uh, for version for info, just to give you information about version. Uh, okay. And the same for Memphis, I think. Okay. Okay. So the only is at at each file or even in malware will be you'll see version info and test all. Okay. But this is resource is gonna be used during the execution of malware. So with this tool, we can extract resource. Okay. Uh, without uh, and the check what 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 in this resource okay so let's do that right now just to open here and the action then save the resources as a binary and see whatever you're gonna name it just to name usually I'm just to rename it with the uh, with its name okay then save okay just uh, so this is the resource. So as we talked before, we already have a file, but we don't know the type of file. So what we're gonna do? We just need to check type of file. How we check it using exactly detect it easy. Okay, just open detect it easy. Okay, and the check file. Okay, so here is it say it's archive, which is zip. So we're gonna rename the file with zip archive. Okay, with zip. So just click here and just. Uh, Right click, then rename it with dot zip. Great, great. So we need to extract these resources. Just to right click and then extract all. I already analyzed this malware, but it is, by the way, it's a wanna cry around somewhere. Okay. So if we say extract here, it will ask you for a password before extract. Okay, uh, I, I know the password. Uh, I cannot show it right now. I mean, uh, I cannot tell you how I did get, get this file. Okay, but I can. Um, I know it. Okay, I will show it during the end of the course. How to analyze the phone? Wanna cry and swear? Then just to copy the password. Okay, so just put it. Okay, great. So this is all file related to Wanna Cry. Great. That's great. So. That's a full resource hacker. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you something else. For if you already extracted this resource, okay, maybe you just need to file before editing. It depends, but most mostly you I mean, mostly you will see resources like not archive. You're gonna see it like uh, another file, another executable file, and so on. But in WannaCry, just like an archive, which is you know, Onokra is really big and <laughs> has many files, so that's why they, they made it as an archive with a protected password. So let's go. That's a resource hacker. Okay, so for the next tool, I'm gonna show you P Studio. Uh, for example, I, I just need to tell you something. P Studio is like P if you, I mean, similarity is 
almost in almost like each other okay i know the reason i know p study it it will you know it, it's advanced of b if you but i just mentioned b b if you for i know it, it's all tool but it some people can use it okay so i'm usually i'm depends on b studio okay just open click and b studio and you can put any file hey this is malware okay just put it if you remember this malware um, uh, I, I explained it in in previous video or uh, I think uh, when I showed you his trainings okay so in PEF you just to give you the okay it says the file reference to in Microsoft Office we I already showed that the in detect it easy okay and give you the indication of virus tutor give you some strings I just need to show you something if we go here okay just to move down move down okay uh, yeah this is the important thing we already showed it uh, this is a uh, same malicious uh, IP address and same malicious file and once it download it it will execute in a temp folder okay so let's continue mm, this is for the malware which related to document okay so maybe there is a malware like uh, for example, if we open like wanna cryer. Okay, let me close file and open it again. Oh, great, yeah. In wanna cry just to give you in the file char other information, okay? So give you also okay. Yeah, it gives you some import table. But hey, for example, just write file, you get file attribute, get tempos, get you know size of resources. The first time is from these things. I mean, just search for resources of, of file and try to decompress it and get it and allocate some some space in memory for that. Just get process address, get uh, get process A, terminate process. Okay, you find resources can create service the start service okay just to give you an overview of what abis that's gonna be used if you already exercise the file okay so that's for wanna cry it also gives you the export table there is no export here just to give you the resources here you see resource area version invest so it's okay give you also some string but it just take a time okay Invest version okay, it's a great tool. Be if you just to give you a summary as a basic static analysis. So, again, uh, it, it depends on you. Maybe you, you, you prefer other tools like PE Studio, but PE Studio is a common and most of malware analysts use it. So, that's why I'm trying to give you an overview of it. So, and give you real, real, real scenario for each tool, why I'm using this tool. I'm just giving you just this tool, hey, we, we uh, just for, for business analysis. No, I'm just giving you example for that, okay? So, please, before closing video, please make sure you already run any malware in your virtual machine like that. And don't, do not run any malware in your original machine. Because if you run it, you will get infected and uh, that's for your responsibility <laughs> okay not me so please please make sure you already run any malware in your virtual machine and uh, and uh, you'll be safe mostly okay so see you next video bye bye